There is always a rhythm to life. A rhythm of a heartbeat, the rhythm of a breath, the cycles of your body, and also the cycles of the moon, the ebb and flow of the sea, and the seasons that pass and return. All those rhythms harmoniously coexist together. I notice that in my life there are also rhythms that seem to return, like the ebb and flow of the sea. There are rapids and decelerations, just like when you stare at the clock, a minute feels like an hour, and when you have fun, an hour can feel like a minute. Those rapids and decelerations always alternate. There are periods that seem to go in a very slow, calm pace, periods with lots of time when it feels like nothing really happens. And there are times that seem to go really fast. All things seem to suddenly come together and ask for your attention at the same time. Times where everything seems to happen all at once. Days and weeks fly by and it feels like you are making big steps forward. And after a rapid, things always slow down again. For the past few weeks, life has been going quite fast. Life has been a bit hectic. Even though I try to be intentional about my time and I try not to fill up every spot in my calendar, it seems like everything comes together and all needs to be done right now. Appointments, certificates that need to be renewed, lots of administration, a digital summer school to attend and more. When life is busy, my brain feels full and sometimes tired. It can be hard to find the peace to be mindful. When there's no extra time in your schedule, to create calm moments, to slow down and do nothing, it's extra important to be mindful when you're doing what you need to do. On busy days I would really enjoy an extra hour to relax, but sometimes taking that extra hour means I have one less hour to sleep, which is not really worth it for me. On those days I try to walk my dog with extra mindfulness. When I take a break from work to walk the dog, my brain sometimes stays with my work, overthinking problems I need to solve, thinking about things I need to do after the walk, while my body is walking outside. Walking in that way, my body and mind are not together. There's no harmony and no awareness. So when I try to be present and mindful, my body and mind are both at the same place together, walking outside with my dog. It is those simple things that make a big difference. On busy days I try to eat my meals in mindfulness and do my tasks mindfully. I try to not get too carried away by everything that's going on. Some days this goes better than others. Usually I can stay pretty grounded, but sometimes my head is racing and it's really hard to focus on being mindful. When I manage to clear my mind of all the thoughts and worries, it does get silent for a little bit. But only a few moments later, it seems like my overly filled brain says Wow, look! There's so much room over here! Let's fill this place up with the overflowing amount of thoughts. So, it's really challenging to stay in a mindful state. And other times when my energy is disrupted, for example when there's negative energy around me, someone is angry or annoyed or I feel bad about a mistake I made, I can feel a strong resistance to be mindful. In those moments I'm aware I'm not at peace and I'm not feeling good and I know I would benefit from being more mindful and regaining my balance but some part of me resists and wants to stay in that disrupted state of mind. It refuses to be mindful. In those scenarios I'm not able to break free from my thoughts and my own negativity. Luckily, those moments do not happen very often, but there have been multiple days in the past where such a mood has stuck with me the entire day, like a bitter taste in your mouth you can't seem to get rid of. I've tried many ways to free myself of my own mindset 
and there were many times when the only solution seemed to be a good night's rest. Going to bed in a bad mood and hoping to wake up in a better one. But I've managed to figure out a few ways to not completely rely on wasting my entire day just to make it to bed at night. I found that just very few things help. Sometimes it works to go outside, to switch up the environment. The longer I can stay outside, the more grounded I start to feel. It's physically stopping and walking away from what is upsetting me or leaving the environment that is keeping me upset. But that's not always possible, for example when you're at work. And sometimes it doesn't work because my thoughts just come with me outside and I'm not able to let them go. What usually works best for me is writing in my journal. Nothing specific, just writing a stream of thoughts, writing what is on my mind. I know it sounds like a cheesy solution and I often really don't feel like writing in my journal when I'm in a bad mental state. but. There's a really simple reason why this works. The reason writing works is because it forces your thoughts to slow down. I can't write nearly as fast as I can think, and I can't think faster than I'm writing. Because if I would, the writing would go off the rail. I also can't think about other things when I'm writing. If I would, I wouldn't be able to finish a single sentence. So writing forces me to concentrate on one thought at a time and it forces me to slow down my thinking in a natural, effortless way. The slowing down doesn't rely on willpower or mental strength because I don't have any at those moments. My brain does not have the option to resist me trying to slow down. It's a way of slowing down where it doesn't feel like you have to fight your racing thoughts you don't need to clear your head, which feels impossible at those times. Through writing, you slow them down. While my pen is gliding over the paper, peace arrives. My head feels like it softens, my body starts relaxing, and it feels like I can breathe again. Of course, the goal is to prevent getting to a state of overwhelm when rapids happen and time seems to be racing. Something that has helped me a lot over the past years is single tasking. It's like the word suggests, the opposite of multitasking. I'm really bad at multitasking and I can only concentrate truly on one thing at a time. Multitasking is just constantly switching between different tasks, which causes you to lose concentration and flow. I used to watch YouTube videos during everything I did when I was washing the dishes, folding the laundry, while eating a meal by myself, and I would listen to music when I was exercising, cooking, showering, driving, and basically any other task where you're not able to watch a YouTube video. Maybe it has to do something with my sensitivity, but it starts to make me feel overstimulated over time. I would start to feel bad after a while and I would get in a rut. When I decided to start single tasking, I started to feel a lot better on a day-to-day -day basis. Now I'm not able to watch as many videos, but I feel a lot better during the day. When I do household chores, I just focus on doing the chores. When I eat, I just focus on eating. I also hardly ever listen to music these days. For a while the only music I listened to was while driving my car. But since we sold our car last year, that doesn't happen anymore. I have mixed feelings about living without much music in my life. I enjoy not having so much noise in the background. I enjoy the calm and the quiet. I don't really miss music and I never even remember to listen to music anymore. But in the past I've listened to a lot of music. Music has brought me a lot of joy throughout my life. It could uplift me. I would learn the lyrics from my favorite songs and sing along. The songs seemed to effortlessly describe how I felt. I loved finding new music. It comforted me when I was feeling sad and made the good moments even happier. The music merges with your memories. When I hear music I listened to growing up, it brings me back to that time. It brings back the feelings and the memories. 
which is lovely and nostalgic. Music has a proven positive impact on our minds and I think music can be something beautiful and joyous. So I'm not saying music is a bad thing and I'm definitely not saying you should remove all music from your life. But rather to be intentional about listening to music instead of having it just as a background noise. I think music does have the ability to lift your mood and to quiet your thoughts. You temporarily forget about your worries and you get out of your slump. Which is good and can just be the little push you needed. But you haven't done anything about your worries and your feelings yet. So when you turn off the music, they will likely return. You just kind of postpone dealing with them. As of with writing, you are processing your thoughts, feelings and emotions. Through writing, you automatically structure the words. Sometimes you come up with solutions to problems when you're writing, or you get new insights. But even if you don't, writing is still very stress relieving and it boosts your concentration. So I think writing is a better option to go for when you need to slow down your racing thoughts, to turn a bad mood around and be able to enjoy the rest of your day. Ik ben ook achter iets heel stoms gekomen, kwam ik achter door het filmen van wat ik eet. Nou, dat zal ik je straks vertellen wat het is.